Hey guys, it's Morna, and in this video, I wanted to share with you a uh, favorite, that's my bird, there you go, five different examples of form follows function. We're going to be looking at everything from the smallest of products to a large scale architectural building. Now, each one of these designers has really looked at and thought about the purpose their product or building serves. This clarity of purpose uh, means that they've been able to find a precise form to fit that circumstance. Number one is the Vis Spiral Eraser from Metaphys. If we think about the purpose of an eraser, it's to erase a pencil mark. And if we look a little bit deeper at to, as to what kind of marks pencils make, well, typically they are relatively thin lines. And this kind of spiral form is, seems like a perfect match to uh, be able to erase with precision. It's a form that will always be sharp because you can constantly uh, be using the spiral, be erasing around the spiral. Number two is this product, which is called the Well Watering Can. So there's two details on this product that make me think of form follows function. The first is the handle. What makes it so good is when you pick it up. The handle fits between the curve of your thumb and hand perfectly. It's such a small but considerate detail. You can see uh, the difference between something that is completely flat versus this uh, handle which is, has a curved surface. The second thing is this top surface. If you've ever tried to fill up a watering can and miss the hole, uh, you will appreciate this design. What I love about this surface is the form is shaped like a funnel. So water is guided into the watering can. You can aim the water kind of anywhere on this top surface and it will flow into the watering can. Now, this is within reason and, you know, if the water pressure is high, it will overflow. But when I discovered these details, it just makes me know that someone was really thinking about the experience of using this watering can. Number three is this product, which is called Hope Forever Blossoming by Debros. This is a plastic vase with printed graphic. You may be asking how this relates to form follows function. Well, the form of this vase is collapsible. How does that show its purpose? Well, the purpose of this vase is transitory. It changes from 2D to 3D. This is similar to the nature of fresh flowers. They only last a fixed amount of time. So when you need a vase, it can be unfolded and water and flowers can be added. And then when you don't need the vase, it can be collapsed and slide away in a drawer or cupboard. So I have a question for you. Um, have you come across a product that really shows this concept, uh, form follows function in a product? It could be the overall form, it could be some aspect of that product, but I'd love to hear it and uh, let me know down below in the comments. Number four is this product, which is uh, a spoon, a cooking spoon, and it's from a company called Dream Farm. It solves a common issue with using any kind of mixing spoon in the kitchen, uh, and that is the spoon gets dirty as, you, as you're using it, but you still need it, so it doesn't make sense to get a new one. And one option is you can put the spoon on a saucer so the counter doesn't get dirty. Um, but this spoon has taken into account all of these different actions. You don't actually need a saucer. With this spoon, it's not an issue because the form lifts the dirty part of the spoon off the counter. The form that creates this effect could be described as like a line with a squiggle in it. It shows the purpose in a very simple way. You see the squiggle will interfere with the countertop before the red part of the scoop. And when I first saw this in a shop, I immediately knew what its purpose was. Number five is the Guggenheim Museum, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright in New York. It's a great example of form follows function. And if you ever get a chance to go, I highly recommend it. Frank Lloyd Wright actually worked for the architect Louis Sullivan, who was actually the first person who coined the term form follows function. Frank Lloyd Wright's vision for how people would use this building, aka the purpose of this building, was that people would take the elevator to the top 
and enjoy a kind of continuous art viewing experience when going down the spiral ramp. I've been to this museum a couple times and my experience was not only was this like a continuous art viewing experience, but it was also a continuous people viewing experience. And it was like watching other people look at art while I was looking at art experience. Frank Lloyd's right intention was a continuous art viewing experience. The spiral is a perfect form to achieve that. It's continuous. You, it's a line moving up through space, right? That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.